guys, what's up? It's Tech Nation Tutorials here. Uh, today I got a video tutorial. It's a Visual Basic tutorial. Uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a very simple web browser. It uh, looks like this. I'll just run a debug of it real quick. Um, if you don't I haven't watched my videos, my computer is very slow. It's only because I have 2 gigs of RAM and it's hard to record and do all this stuff at the same time. So uh, this is it. It's just gonna load my website. Uh, I'm gonna open it up in full screen. There's my website right there. Um, you can go ahead and hit back, forward, so on and so forth. Uh, this is where you enter the URL. So Google.com. Hit go. And you're at Google. You can go back a page, forward a page. You could stop, go to your home page. So, I mean, it's just a very simple, basic web browser and uh, very easy to make. So, we're just going to create a new project and I'm just going to discard this one. And I'm going to go ahead and let that load. This should only take a second if it responds. Okay, you want to make sure you have a, uh, selected a Windows Form application. You can call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call mine TNT Browser. And hit A OK. And that's going to pull up a Windows Form application where I will just resize it, give it a new title, and some other stuff. So let's get started. So I'm going to resize it. Um, give it a new title. TNT browser and show icon will equal false. Okay. Now we're going to do a menu strip. And uh, at the top where it says type here, you're going to do back. And the next one you're going to do forward. The next one you're actually going to go to this little uh, little arrow right here and click on that, and that's going to come up with this selection. Go ahead and do combo box, and that's going to give it a really small width. So what I'll do is I'll go into the properties here and go down to the size. And change it from 121 pixels to 500 pixels. And that just uh, makes it a little longer. And then right after that, you want to have go. And after that one, you're going to have stop. And after that, actually, uh, you know what I forgot in the last web browser? I forgot to put a refresh button. We'll do refresh. Um, we'll do one in here. Uh, here. Let me see. Sorry, I'm just going to delete these actually. Delete and delete. And delete the combo box. Okay. So then we'll do refresh. and then we'll do the combo box um, combo box and then we'll go in here to the settings and to change the size again to 500 by 23 and then after that we'll hit uh, type in next one will be go and let me go in there and it's gonna pull up the coding because I double clicked it. Okay, sorry about that. Um I'm just gonna put that a capital G. Sorry I'm anal like that. Um and I'm gonna give it a more size or uh, increase the width of this because I need more room. 
so we'll after that after go will be stop and after stop will be the last one which will be home and then you're going to come over here to your toolbox and you're going to find something called the web browser just hit enter and that should dock it it should fill in the rest of the page if it doesn't you can come up to this little corner right here click that and uh, it will actually say dock and you just hit dock and that will just automatically resize so all right, so the first thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to click on back and double click it and that should bring up the code and then just do web browser one and if it loads web browser one dot go back and then you go back into the design and we'll do forward which will be basically the same thing it'll just be web browser one dot go forward um forward and then we'll do refresh which will be web browser one dot refresh and then we'll go to we'll skip the combo box and go straight to go and we'll double click on go and that will bring us into the coding for go and then we'll do web browser one dot navigate and then we'll do tool strip uh, tool strip dot compo, uh, combo box one dot text and then we'll go into stop and we'll do web browser one dot stop and then after that which is the last one we'll go into home and this one's very simple uh, web browser one dot go home and that will just take you to the home page of Internet Explorer uh, if you didn't know that this is an Internet Explorer based web browser so um, that's it it is complete we can go ahead and debug it or do bug it or whatever you want to call it uh, let that load up and I'll show you so basically the same thing I just added the refresh button this time because I forgot to in the last one okay so here it is is that it where is it dun 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 there it is okay so we have back forward now this if I click home it will take me to my home page which is like a knockoff Google because my Internet Explorer has been messed with. So that's nice. See, knockoff Google. And then, uh, well, I can go to like Yahoo, even though nobody uses Yahoo anymore. You just hit go. And this web browser won't work by hitting the enter key, um, it just doesn't work. So that's kind of stinks, but that's okay. Um, then we can hit back, and I'll bring us to the previous page. Forward will bring us to the current, uh, the Yahoo. Um, refresh. We'll refresh the page, as you see, and then go will be obviously go stop will stop the web browser and home will bring it home now you can download this web browser there will be a download link in the description it will come in a raw file you will need RINRAR f or to unzip it um, there will be a download link in the description for RINRAR uh, or you guys can just make it yourself uh, there's my computer spazzing out
always at the end of the video. Well, not always at the end of the video. Most times in the beginning, but that's okay. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys did, feel free to leave a like and a comment. Uh, it really helps me out. Uh, I really do appreciate it if you guys would do that. Um, I'm not trying to beg for likes or anything, but you know what I'm saying. And uh, I will catch you guys in the next tutorial. Hope you guys join me in the next tutorial. And I'll see you guys later.